What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? This is Farouk from the African Fighters. And I'm going to be doing a quick recap of the fight between Joe Joyce versus um Carlos Taka. It was um a highly anticipated fight. Uh, we were looking forward to a fight, the biggest fight of Joe Joyce's career till date after the Daniel Dubois fight. Uh, they just put on an impressive performance against Dubois and we expect him to see we're expecting to see him top that performance um, this time around um, but it wasn't the case although Joe Joyce knocked out um, or TKO um, Carlos Takam in the sixth round so I'm going to walk you guys through the fight and round by round and also I'm going to talk about Joe Joyce's performance and where will Joyce go from here so in the first round um, uh, you know Joe Joyce as usual he starts very slow uh, which is one of a downside to his game I would say Joe Joyce came out slow Carlos Takamam seems like the aggressive boxer he was an aggressive boxer he came out threw some um, heavy right hand and landed some great uh, overhead right and um, clipped Joe Joyce um, a couple of times I think up to three times in the first in the first round Joe Joyce um, was defending, um, his defense was quite awkward, I'll say, this time around. He defended, um, and you know Joe Joyce have um, a rock of a chin. He was there, he st stayed in the round, um, threw some body shots, um, jab, 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 and and that's how the first round ended. The second round, similar, similar thing, um, Joe Joyce was trying to walk walked uh, walked uh, walked through um Takam was he kept coming for forward was coming through punches and Takam was trying to get over over right over right um overhead right and and it seems clear that that was his only chance of winning the fight he was looking for a one punch knockout and um to end the fight and Joyce is that kind of a fighter that you take him you, you're going to take a lot to to put him down I don't think Joyce have ever been dropped in his entire career. So it would take a lot of effort to drop Joe Joyce. And Takam coming with just a with just one strategy, one path to victory was kind of poor, being a veteran that he is. Uh, but anyway, Takam made the fight a bit interesting. He was coming forward, rocking Joyce. He did the same thing for the second round. And um, Joyce just kept coming forward, taking Takam's punch and... The third round, Takam looked a bit tired. He was a bit slow. Um, he was still trying to fight, but he looked fatigued. And Joyce was now landing the better punches, and jabbing, jabbing, hit, hit um, train body shot, body shots, and all that. And Takam was now slowing down. It seems as if Takam was trying to preserve his energy. He wasn't as effective as, as he was in the first two round, and Joyce was now getting into the fight better. Like I say, Joyce is a slow starter, so he get into the fight better. He was throwing some good punches. He was doing well, and um, and uh, in the fourth round, Joyce um, took over the game, throwing some nice um, um, body um, body shots, some great combinations, and um, Takam was looking tired. Takam leg, Takam's leg was looking heavier. He was he was um, losing his balance a couple of times. He wasn't. He wasn't going down, but you could t you can tell you could tell that he was not as 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 strong and as durable as he was in the first two three rounds. So in the fourth round, um, going to the fourth round, I still felt Takam was um leading on points because he landed the better punches. Joyce was working more on the body, but um from the unofficial scorecard, we saw it was um first two round for Takam and the third and fourth round for Joe Joyce, meaning. 2-2 two, two tie going to the fifth round. Um, Joyce began um, backing up a little bit in the fifth round because some of Sakam um, um, overhead right um, was really clipping Joe Joyce, pushing his head backward. Uh, I believe Joyce was kind of hot. One of the most people will say he's not, he wasn't hot, but he was kind of hot a couple of times. But he was still coming forward. And I'm also being a bit wary. And Takam was now slowing down completely in the fifth round to preserve his energy. And um, jo um, Joyce um, was winning the round, body shots as well, like I said, um, um, some good uppercuts. 
and Carlos can bounce back toward the end of the round and try to clip Joyce twice or so. So for me, I felt Joyce won the fifth round, meaning going three, two in favor of Joyce into the sixth round. So um, Takam was looking completely tired in his corner after the fifth round. So coming up, coming out of the fifth round, I was saying to myself, Takam is going to. Takam is looking like he's losing this fight. So as soon as the bell rang for the sixth round, um, Joyce landed a nice right um, punch. And Takam was staggered. He was rocked. And his legs were gone. And Joyce followed up, um, rushing on Takam, landing some great um, body shots, la- um, landing some nice, nice uppercut. And as you can see, Takam was doing nothing. He was staggered. He was shaky on shaky legs. And he could not come back into the fight. The referee gave him some chance to come back into the fight. But right. you can see clearly that Takam was um, unable to recover. And the ref step in and um, call off the fight, which I think was a good stoppage because if it if it had continued that way, the next will see Takam um, on the on the mat. But uh, luckily, the referee did a great job. I would say first stoppage wasn't a bad stoppage because Takam, I don't think he's he's going to recover from that round. And even if he was saved in that round, Takam is going to lose in the seventh round. So it was a good stoppage. It was a great, um, good decision by the referee. A good TKO win by um, Joe Joyce. So Joe Joyce is still um, the European champion, British heavyweight champion, um, WB, WBC um, silver, silver champion, heavyweight champion, and WBO international champion. So lovely, lovely accolades for Joyce. Um, he is the main man now. He's one of his now going to be in top of the heavyweight. I think this win should put him in the top ten or top twelve because he was previously ranked um, top twenty, uh, number twenty two in the world. And Takam is his biggest fight. Although in my opinion, I feel the fight against Joe Joyce, we saw, uh, sorry, against um, Daniel Dubois, we saw a better Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce was te- tactical, technical, was jabbing, 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 um, a sweet science. He was defending properly. He wasn't taking damages. But in this fight, he was taking a lot of damages, severe damages. Even though we know Joyce is durable, he has good chin, he kept on coming forward. He was doing what he knows how to do best, but he isn't the most exciting fighter we have out there in heavyweight and in heavy division you need to be very exciting you need to put in the best performance you need to be able to knock knock out your opponent purely although he gets he got a tko victory but um for for a large part of the fight it, it was takam who was making the fight entertaining joe joyce was just coming into shots was sloppy he, his power shots were not very great quite all right we know he has a good job his job can hurt you he can win with the job he did that against the boy but he isn't landing those knockout punch. And to the stage he is in, his, in the heavy division now, he needs to be winning by knockout. He needs to be winning by clear one punch knockout. So now, this is my assessment of Joe Joyce's performance. Joe Joyce's performance was average, was, uh, was, um, was, wasn't was a great performance. Here he beats Takam, a veteran, a good opponent, his biggest victory so far. And he did it in quick fashion. But it isn't the most exciting performance. He was sloppy. His defense was poor. His punches was weak. Um, so Joyce needs to go back to the drawing board. Needs to work on his punches. Need to. I'm not a boxer. I'm not an expert. But from what, just being a fan, seeing from the outside, great to these guys for going to their, putting their life, putting their career, put everything. So I'm not in any way trying to condemn or make him feel or make anybody think. They are not doing enough. These guys are putting their life on the line. So credit to them for even stepping into the ring. But I'm just saying from a fan, from an outsider looking and and uh, analyzing these things. Joyce need to start to get those big wins. And um, now the question is where do, where does Joyce go from here? Where do we see Joyce going from here? Joyce um, is said to be the WBO mandatory to fight the winner of AJ and Usyk. So I think that's very very unlikely i just believe frank warren is just making joyce to be that heavyweight that will be happy it's just a way of consoling joe joyce that okay don't worry you're going to get the aj fight but aj is not going to fight two wbo mandatory back to back if he if aj is not getting the if aj goes through um Usyk, the next fight is going to be aj fighting another mandatory maybe the ibf or 
you've already fought IB, you've already fought Pulev. So AJ is not going to be fighting any one day anytime soon. He's going to be fighting voluntary fights. And he will know AJ is looking for the undisputed fight against Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. So I don't think AJ will entertain it do a a Joe Joyce fight at the moment. And Joyce just needs to go elsewhere, look for a better fight, look for um look for a top heavyweight fight again. I think this is a good one. He should be taking taking the likes of um taking the likes of Andy Ruiz next or taking the likes of um of um Tony Yoka again another good fight or take the likes of um of um Charles Martin there are top of, there are a lot of big fights out there for him and then prepare himself properly to face AJ because for me I don't think Joyce will be able to take out AJ who seek Dylan White Deontay Wilder and Fury at this point in time the top five favorites are going to be a massive problem for Joe Joyce. We've not seen Joyce being dropped before, but I believe if Joyce go against those guys, he's going to be really hot. He's going to be really hot. It may not be a knockout because he has a very, very durable chain, but it, 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 it could be a career, a devastating career injury kind of match for Joe Joyce or a fight that's going to really hurt Joe Joyce because... Even if he doesn't lose by knockout or TKO, he's still going to lose by decision. Because you cannot be too slow fighting the likes of AJ. You cannot be too sloppy fighting the likes of AJ and Fury. You cannot be taking too much punches like the way he did against Takam. Because AJ and Fury will be landing flush and you cannot get them. Imagine going to the fifth round against Takam. Joyce was already hot a couple of times. And I felt Takam was winning by points. I felt... Takam was ahead but one round. So imagine against an AJ or a Fury, Joyce will not be able to land clean, will not be able to win with jabs, will not be able to win the way he's going to win. He may end up not losing by decision. He may not be knocked out, but I don't fancy Joyce's chances yet against those favorites. So I think Joyce needs a lot of work to do. He needs to go back to the drawing board. He's a, he's a good boxer, a very, very good boxer, a top heavyweight. But he needs to go back and really work on finishes now. If he really want to compete and become a world champion. So that's it guys. Um, drop your comment in the comment section. Drop your opinion. Your criticism. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you share the same sentiment as I do. Um, tell me what if your opinion contradicts my opinion. Show us some support. Click the like button. Subscribe. Peace out guys. See you some other time. Bye for now. Come on, Africans! Ah,